let's do a comic book haul let's do a comic book haul okay i'm gonna i'm gonna show you the cgc's after this little guy okay so comic book haul comic book haul time let me tell you what this is now this thing okay this comic book haul um cost forty dollars including shipping okay this thing cost forty dollars including shipping it's got um it was a shot in the dark it was a shot in the dark go spaces let's see them it was a shot in the dark i wanted to i want to get this whole series i have a couple of the issues i don't know which ones i have i have number one um and it's a five issue mini series and it was independent and it came out in the 1980s okay uh, but i don't have the full series and this isn't the full series it's five comics but there's three issues of number one and two issues of number three i believe uh let's check it out two issues of number three okay so three issues of number one two issues of number three cost forty dollars total not bad packaged nicely right this is the general packaging you get and this is the way I package my stuff take the comic books put them together put them between two cardboard pieces and then put them in a mailer right okay. and then there's a blue <laughs> wasp going in my ear this is like blue uh blue painters tape which is really easy to work with just as the green one right let's put these guys here and i bought these because they look like they were in good condition right it was a good price if they're in great condition let's see what type of condition they are in. check this out no backing boards on them mm, what kind of condition are they in let's check it out they'd be a mid mid high grade they're not extremely high grade so it's an okay deal it's it's let's check it out now these are check this out uh if you know independent comics you'll know this right uh chicho thank you for being here today awesome base man brat pack right rick vetich vetich okay this is one of the uh, one of the important independent comic books from the 1980s okay um he's he did uh rick vetich did the uh, swamp thing he worked on swamp thing with alan moore as well right and he's done a lot of work in a lot of places but this is the series that really put him on the uh, on the on the map right and it's an adult oriented series check out the back check out the back right <laughs> issue cover of issue number four is insane this unpacking will be a great asmr segment you show awesome awesome poor are we doing poor pourquoi pourquoi I don't, how do you pronounce your name i don't know so there is check this out check this out there is three copies of number one three copies of number one and i have number one somewhere in my boxes and there's two copies of number three okay two copies of number three check out the cover for issue number four for this actually two four and five check out the covers for those fantastic covers i gotta get i think it's the issue number four with the lady uh, it's a cool cover and the back of issue number three it's, it's, 
baseman awesome standing outside a restaurant as my girlfriend and her mom argue over Rome versus faith and i got your notification thank goodness i'm walking away and listening to you <laughs> Awesome base man. Just keep on walking, man. Just keep on walking. Por qua pa. Por qua pa. Por qua pa. It means why not? Por qua. Por qua. Right? Am I por qua pa? Por qua pa. Por qua pa. I didn't know the pa part. Por qua. <laughs> por qua pa. It means uh, why not? Why not? Por qua. Uh, should we crack open number one just to see the artwork? It, it is adult oriented. I'm gonna crack open one of the number ones, which isn't. It doesn't look as good as the other ones. They're all about the same grade, actually. So these number ones look like they're around, um, grade around 8.5 or something, which isn't bad, gang. Which isn't bad. So let me put this here. Let me put this here. Let's crack open. Take a look. Hopefully, I can. It's not all full on adult. Let's see, is it an 8.5? Yeah, I would give these around an 8, 8.5, which isn't bad. So the price I paid was not bad, right? Check this out. This is legit to show. Check this out. This is okay to show. A novel in five parts. Rat pack. Nice, 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 nice. Right. Excellent, excellent. And this is uh, the exact date of this. Is when did this come out? Eighty eight, eighty five. Oh, here it is. No, nineteen ninety. Rat pack number one. Uh, nineteen ninety. Published by King Hill Press in association with Tundra. Right? <laughs> this is Rick Vetnik. Was born and so here's here's a picture of he put himself uh, who he is, right? Ah uh, hilarious. Funny. It's a good quality. Oh wow, look at this. Oh yeah, I can't show that. <laughs> no, it's not bad actually. Can I show this? Yeah, yeah, I can show this. Yeah, I can show this. Take a look. Right? Looks like a Robin character, dude. Check it out. Not bad, not bad. Maybe we do a reading on this as if it's not too hardcore. Yeah, yeah, this looks great. Awesome, awesome. Uh, pourquoi? I do hope that the Die With Your Mask On was written before uh, 2020. Die With Your Mask On. What's that from? Is there live fast love hard die with your mask on oh my god <laughs> this, this is 1990 oh my god look at this i didn't even catch it i was looking at the images here let's take it out of the thing check it out so we don't get the glare live fast love hard die with your mask on <laughs> 1990 hmm uh, what's that called programming culture buffet on the page alone fun cool cool okay so that's just a uh, uh, singles raw copies that we bought which is not bad I'm okay with this the price it's not a bad uh, it, it was an okay deal now let me show you two CGC graded comics okay this one this one is a great haul wow 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 we got a great deal on this the grading alone cost more than what we paid for this this one costs 32 dollars and 50 cents and there was no shipping there's a little bit of tax that i paid five percent or whatever it was because ebay is introduced for canadians taxes now right so 32.50 
uh, US and it's a graded copy of Game Boy number two graded at 9.2 <laughs> look at that awesome Mario so Game Boy number two graded at 9.2 and as you know this is Valiant Comics and as you know uh, we have I have the first issue of Zelda Mario uh, a, fair, a few of the first issues of Valiant Comics that they put out for a Nintendo Sega a Nintendo system um, I ended up buying the issues when they first came on the came on the no more Mario. And we did the reading for Mario, right? It was a horrendous comic. Boo. Man, the Elder God. Mario, the first issue that we did the reading for, I believe it was that one. or There were two number ones. Okay. The first issue that we did the reading for with Mario flying, right? Uh, it's sort of the cover of uh, Mario Brothers, right? 9.8, which that comic is a 9.8 that we did a reading for graded 9.8 is selling for like a thousand dollars right i hope we didn't do too much damage for it so awesome i'm happy to have this right 3250 great deal great deal it would cost like basically that much just to get it graded right like grading is costing so much now okay and this was a local seller so i picked this up so that was great and the second one this one is even a better deal this one is even a better deal we ended up paying uh $38 US for this okay and it's already turned into a series I think it's Netflix or Hulu doing it and it's sweet tooth number one graded at 9.6 and we paid $38 US for it but it's this thing's selling or listed at least for minimum 150 bucks uh, a lot of places 200 for this right uh, so it was a really good deal $38 US for this I'm happy to have this and the series is really good actually I like the series on this right and here's a back cover a back, back cover back cover $38 US right really good deal really good deal I was surprised I got it my bid was actually higher and no one bid uh, I was bidding against other people but no one outbid me so very happy to have this at $38 and the series has been good it's a fun series and Jeff Lemire is a Canadian writer as well and I love his work he did amazing work for Valiant Comics uh, for Bloodshot and uh, some of the other ones he did a lot of Bloodshot I believe Jeff Lemire um, and just the most recent news from Bloodshot a lot of comic book publishing companies are having serious financial difficulties there's a few of them that are merging and some of them are reducing the amount of comic books that they're uh, putting out per month okay so valiant comics just came out and said they're only putting out uh, they're going to start putting out only one issue per month uh, i think paper costs has a lot to do with it and just shipping and stuff like this so um, the comic books industry is having uh, some hiccups right now uh, valiant comics being one of them hopefully it's not a repeat where valiant goes under again Okay, because they produce some amazing comics. Cheers, gang. That's our comic book haul. Okay.